Hello and welcome back to Maddie's Cooking Show, aka my YouTube channel, but the cooking edition. So today we are making protein pancakes, banana protein pancakes, which is one of my favorite breakfasts. This video is sponsored by Chimney Fire Coffee. Thank you, Chimney Fire Coffee. I'm super excited, yeah, to take you to my kitchen, which is just there. That's so good. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. So, ingredients we need. Jumbo rolled oats, and I like to go for flat ovens. This is the brand here. Really, really good oats. So an egg, plant-based milk, and actually I don't normally use barista oatly for this, but we are out of normal oat milk, so barista it is. I'm going to my spice rack, and I've got some cinnamon. I've got some molden sea salt here. What else do I need? Flour and baking powder. Okay, what we need to do first is we need to blend our oats. So we want to turn the oats into essentially like a flour. I do half a cup per person. So I'm just making for me today. Handy half cup. Half cup of oats into the blender or food processor. You can actually do a hand blender, but it's quite hard to, to get it all down with a hand blender. So you can see, we're just blending this down to make a powder. Sorry, I just forgot like the key ingredient, protein oats. You need protein. So this is OT's Anytime Vegan Protein, and this is the vanilla one, which is the one I like to use for this. Now that we've blended our oats, what we do is we mix together all our dry ingredients. Actually, sorry, that's a lie. We mix together our wet ingredients first. I also forgot another key ingredient, banana. So I'm actually gonna use half a banana and I'll top with the other half. And what you wanna do is you wanna mash it with a fork. So I'm actually gonna come in here. So you mash this. You want a really squishy banana. This banana is actually a little bit like, it's not underripe, it's ripe, but it's not quite overripe. You want like banana bread banana. And then crack in an egg. So that's our banana and egg mixture there. And into our kind of dry mixture. So I'm gonna add a third of a cup of flour. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Pinch of salt. I do cinnamon by eyes, like it depends how cinnamony you like your pancakes. So that's our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients. We also need to add milk into this, but I'm gonna just mix this first. Hello, gone for a different angle now. We're gonna add a third of a cup of oat milk to our wet ingredients. And then I actually like to look at the consistency and work out. Now, one thing I would say is I've done some research and you wanna combine this bit with a spatula because you don't want to overwork it um so some people stick everything in a blender but my advice would be not to because you don't want to overwork the mixture so you blend it and then you mix it all by hand and i like to use a spatula so that's the consistency but i'm going to add a little bit more milk so it's a little bit thick but that's how we like it a whole scoop of fruit now what we need to do is we need to melt a little bit of butter in the frying pan um, and you want a really good quality frying pan for pancakes and then when that's bubbling I'll stick my pancake mix in and I either make one huge pancake which was what my friend Morgan did and I copied her on that or I make three small pancakes depending on if I want to be aesthetic. While that's heating up I can enjoy my coffee. So just a little bit about Chimney Fire Coffee who have sponsored this video very kindly. Chimney Fire Coffee is a lovely coffee roastery based at the bottom of Box Hill in Surrey. They are B Corp certified. They pay their producers on average double fair trade prices, which is absolutely amazing and why I'm so happy to be supported by them. They have some great links to cycling. They give donations to Recycle who send bikes out to Africa. So they have that link to cycling, which is amazing. So Chimney Fire Coffee have a coffee subscription service Service and you can subscribe to any of their coffees online and they have free UK delivery. I do have a code and I'll put the code in the description below. So if you want to try out Chimney Fire's great coffee, check the description below for the link. 
chosen toppings for today. So I love nut butters. So I'm going to go for almond butter, blueberries, banana, some Greek yogurt and chia seeds as well. Okay, we're on pancake making mode because the butter is bubbling a bit. So I spread it around the pan. I like to use a third of cup measurer to measure out my pancake portions because for me, a third of a cup is approximately one pancake, a very heaped third of a cup. You know, it's really stressful cooking for people, I find. I find cooking for other people incredibly stressful. Just giving them a bit of love and attention. We're almost coming to the anxiety inducing bit. The flip. When you see them bubbling on the top like this, let me zoom in. That's when you know it's nearly time. And you can also have a look, like a sneak peek underneath. Do you know what? Given my anxiety over cooking publicly, this is actually going okay. We'll see. <laughs> yes. Okay, flipped. So now we transfer them. We always decide which is the most aesthetic because that goes on the top. So here we have our pancake stack. Popping, okay. Uh, sorry, what am I gonna do first? I'll do the fruit. This isn't gonna be ridiculously aesthetic today. I've got blueberries flying everywhere. Nut butter, pip and nut, if you see this and you wanna sponsor me, hit me up. Cause I, Last bit of nut nut butter. Okay, that was quite a drizzle. I also like to do a little bit of Greek yogurt. I think I just ruined the aesthetics. Voila, we've got my banana protein pancakes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tuck in. I'll figure out the macros and stick them on here. So yeah, let me know if you want more. I like to spend time in my kitchen and I can create more recipes. I'm gonna tuck it in. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Huge thank you again to Chimney Fire Coffee. Cheers. And yeah, we'll be back with more soon.